All right, so what else y'all want to talk about? Y'all want to talk about Monique? Y'all want to talk about Everyday Struggle? Uh, Star? Yeah, let's get right to the Everyday Struggle, man. All right, I'll stop the applause. Because I'm... Uh, it, it, listen, man. Listen. <laughs> that shit is not going to last. I'm sorry. I love I don't Star. Think it... He's a legend. I, I love the... He, he's the original, like, disrespect king, but that complex can't... They're not going to... They, they're going to lose too many relationships fucking with Star. And they care about their relationships. Stars, he's too much for complex. Think so? Way too much. I don't think he can have a guest. Like who? Who? Can he's way too there? much for complex. He's way too much for that platform. Star would say, "Star is just." Yeah, it's fact. He's way too much. But he's way too much for complex. Here's where complex might be able to win on the radio. It was very difficult to edit, and we never knew what Star was gonna say. This is all edited. If Star does some real wild shit that would fuck up a sponsorship dollar, they can easily edit that out. I don't know how long they're going to want to continue to do that, but it is different than Star on the radio. Like that Aaliyah clip never getting out on Complex because it can be edited. Yeah, but he's... he, And it's just like... Academics got to just... He just got to be a man. Like You can't sit down and just let a man talk to you the way Star was talking to academics. I'm sorry. Like I get Star. That's his thing. He's the disrespect king, but like, come on, academics. You got to... That's just, it was uncomfortable to watch. Like, I felt bad for academics See, listening to, watch. to that I was, shit. I was trying to be, you know, Well, that man. was the first episode. How many episodes is that? That's all I can go off of. Oh, it's it's only the two, first right? episode. Yeah, well, I watched they, the first one. Well, I didn't watch it. They put one out today, and it was a very different energy. Oh, I didn't see the one today, then. So that, that's why, you know, all right, what I will say, well, how do you feel about it, Rory, before I chime uh, in here? I enjoyed the first episode that I saw, but I don't think that's something I could watch every day. It was funny for, like, that first shit. To see Star be Star against Act, but I don't know if that's something I can watch every morning. And but I was, I was, not to cut you off. I was looking forward to it once I, because that was one of the guys when we had to talk here. I told you I was like, they could put Star in that seat, yeah. Because I thought Star would kind of, you know, what I mean, but he was he's Star, and it was like, but it it's, it it became almost like cringeworthy, like just hearing him talk to academics the way he was. I was like, damn, like. Yeah, but I mean, like you know, that shit was uncomfortable to listen to after a while. And I was like, "Come on, my nigga, like, I can't." You telling another man he want to fuck a nigga, or he want him to fuck him, <laughs> yeah. and he want to suck his dick. It's like yo, dog, dog, dog. <laughs> I can't. Like that's just that's like, and we and I that star though. So I can't yeah. be mad at that, but it's like I can't watch it, that. It could change because Star is one of the most talented media personalities. I don't doubt that it could change, but with Joe, it just felt more of like the first take debate show where we could really sit and talk about what's going on in hip hop. Mm. This just kind of feels like Star. Well, Joe was Be, a being a star of, to academics. Of, of shock value <laughs> I mean, and insight. the way the way Star used to treat people that would call in the Hot ninety seven. That, yeah, but that's, that's diff- what that but would that's feel different like. from your co host though. That's what I'm saying. Right. Like, to hear right. you talking to the co host like that is wild. Like <laughs> I was like, oh partner, damn, this is but yeah, like that's crazy. Change. Well, I'm going in, off one episode. In his defense, in his defense, some people would say I spoke to him act that very same no, you, way. No, not not that way, not that way. You, you were never so yeah. You was you was talking to him more like a. A big brother, like like you know what I'm saying, like that type of thing, like like tough love. Act, Star was talking to him like, I want you to get up and do something right now so I can knock you out. Like that that's the type of energy I was like, yo, listen, if academics get up right now, I wouldn't even be surprised. That's how I felt watching that shit. I'm like, if academics get up and walk off right now, I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, that's why I'm, I, I really wish y'all would have caught some of today's clip because today's clip was was so different that. You think the producers talked to him? Someone 100% spoke to him or, well, today he said he went home and he spoke to his girl or somebody and he said, yo, you you look a little tense up there. So it was a different energy today, mm. which means, and we all know Star, Star is a legend and Star is an icon. Mm-hmm. So I do believe that all people who are that great have can cut it on and cut it off. Yeah. Right. So do you still feel that way, even if he's cutting it on and off just for content purposes? I mean, I would have to go and watch the the ne- the, the new episode. Because today, today he I'm only said, going off for the first one. Today he said, I I I misread, I misread you saying that you were coming you were coming for me in pre production. So I was prepared for it, and, and that's how I was on it. That's what Star said. Yeah. Okay. But that's just that's just somebody calling him and saying, "All right, <laughs> yeah, like this this is what it is." Now, I say all of that to say, I don't know that I necessarily agree with everybody that says, you know, Star is Star, the father of trolling. So this is never going to work. 
No, that's who Star was on Power and this, his morning show. I can't say that that's who Star is. That he hasn't necessarily spoken as brash on his own platforms. Yeah, I mean, well, not his, the way that he series. used to, which is probably smart because doing all of that, you know, got him in the position that he was in. He was blackball, blackball for a little bit. So you know, we had Star in our podcast. If you know anything about Complex, it just seems like an odd pairing. Well, they, if they, you know anything about Star. Yeah, well, they're searching for somebody that's, you know. Well, no, time out, time out. Let, let's be very clear. I, I this, this, disagree and, with you a little bit, but go ahead. With who, me or more? With you, as far as Star being an odd pairing. For Complex, maybe, but that show in particular following you. They need another they, brash they, tongue they in that brash. Uh, yeah. and, and people were saying, I know Star is known for older, like early 2000s radio. Star is very up on what's going on right now. If you watch his, his stuff, he's talking about what's going on now. You're not getting someone at that no, is not aware. At no point did I say that he was unaware. What do you mean? I never. I, no, I'm saying well, I don't think it's an odd pairing. But I didn't even say why I, I thought it was an odd pairing. Odd pairing because of the corporate <laughs> I never culture. Said, yeah, I never. Yeah, my my point was we know how Star what? feels about homosexuals. We know how he feels about white people. He came up here and berated you for a whole fucking hour and that's a half true. on our part. Like we know who Star is at his core, unless that's not him. But if oh, that's, that's him, him. That's but him. if <laughs> that is him, I'm not talking about what happens on screen. I'm just talking about the pairing of that person in complex where they hire nothing but homosexual and non-threatening black men. Sidebar really quickly. Nipsey got in a lot of trouble the, uh, the other week for saying something about that. Let me just point out that you can 100% recognize when white people are, are hiring non-threatening black men or more homosexual men than normal, and I don't think you're homophobic to be able to recognize the difference, difference in that. I agree, <laughs> I agree. They killed him for no reason. They yeah, they killed him. They, they back called to what I was saying. They called him a hom- a homophobe. They called him all types of shit. Right. And at no point did he say that. But I mean, shit. Yeah, like just like they killed genuine when he didn't want to kiss a transsexual on stage. Like they killed him for that. Like so he can't say no. So genuine is not allowed to say no. Right. Like men can't say no. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Coolio, like yeah. Coolio too, I think, right? Yeah, this is like it's 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 like what are the what are the parameters here? Like what are we going by? You know what I'm saying? Like if a woman was in that position and she said no, they would have killed the guy for trying to kiss her on on stage. Mm-hmm. But now when a transsexual is trying to kiss a man who's not who's a straight a heterosexual male and he doesn't want to do that, you kill him. He's homophobic or he's he's transgender phobic or whatever the, the name is for that. Mm-hmm. Like it's like what are we talking about? Like what, what what is okay and what's not okay? Since everything changes all the time now. Yeah. Like I just don't I don't get it. But nothing I mean, is okay. Have, yeah, like you don't have to be homophobic to recognize that a, an office space is hiring homosexual males and non-threatening men. Like that's not that's not what homophobic is. Right. Homophobic is Nipsey walking in there seeing that and saying, "Oh no, nah, it's too many gay niggas I'm out." Yeah. That's homophobic. That's homophobic. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and he didn't do that. He just recognized the room and he, it is what it is. Like I'm, I'm still here. I'm not mad at Complex. Like I'm here. Right. Well, I guess they were saying that, and this is off on a tangent. Uh, we'll get back to that starch in a second. But I guess they were saying, I guess his verbiage mm. and how he worded it. Oh, oh, that's what they were saying because he said strong black men, implying that if you were homosexual, you were not strong. That's why uh, I don't like. Okay. That's what. That's why I don't even like the word implying. I don't imply. I say exactly what I'm attempting to say. Right. <laughs> yeah, because when you imply, you leave space for people to kind of make their own decision on what you're saying. Yeah, but I don't think that him saying that straight men are strong says that he thinks gay men are not strong. Right. <laughs> right. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. You right. I don't. I don't think that that means that. But uh, so back to star. So that's why I say that that's an odd pairing there. Mm-hmm. Especially if I go back to thinking about, you know, what they're going to do when some corporate dollars come in. They couldn't have been thinking that. The whole hire reeks of desperation only if you're listening to what was said in the show. Star said y'all had a whole list of niggas that y'all ran down a whole list. Y'all didn't want to get to me. (laughs) (laughs) And he kept saying I'm losing money up here. But that's a lie. That part is a lie. You didn't, when Star was on our podcast, you know, his plans 
they were he was going at the A to, to Atlanta, the yeah, radio yeah. station. I was like, nigga, this sounds like the move. Right. He sounded like he was done with New York, done with mm. I mean, it's documented. That's how he sounded. That's how I took it anyway. Right. So you don't go from that to taking a job Monday through Friday and say I'm losing money. That's just not true. <laughs> But that's why there's so many different ways to attack this because, damn, what was my point before we was just talking about that? I don't know. But a while ago, I asked Ian and Keeb, I said, do y'all think Howard Stern could become Howard Stern today? Well, I don't know about with the climate of sensitivity. And But, but, but now we're going to be able to see it today because that question... The point of that question was I thought Howard I think Howard Stern is one of the greatest radio personalities ever. For sure. Right? But would his journey still pan out that way in the current <coughs> climate? Star, we know what he did. We know who he is. Right. And we know why he was great. Right. Will he be able to kind of shape shift that to fit what's going on today in today's climate? Also to respond to Rory's earlier point. Another reason it's a bad fit. It's not a music show anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Which now, it felt, now, it felt now, like it's, a now it's not a music show. Now, Star admittedly is a rock and roll guy. Mm -hmm. Drake and Drake and Wale will tell you that Act don't know shit about rap music, and we know what some people think about what Complex knows about rap music. So now you have just a show without depth for now. Yeah, for now. Not saying that they can't get it together. You got to give them, give them some time to gel and all of that shit. But Star, Star telling us that they went down a long list and he was at the bottom of it says that it's a desperation move. Uh, that, clip came, that clip that came out uh, when he's referring to wanting to beat off on the Deska's leg or... That was wild. <laughs> that clip says that this is a desperation move. A lot about a lot about it says it's just a desperation move, but that don't mean that it can't work. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now to that that clip, that was before Save he on. took the complex yeah. deal, correct? Wait, what'd you say? That clip was recorded prior to yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't some shit he did clip. like right shortly after. Well, I mean, it, it's possible to change now that he knows what's at risk if he wants to continue doing that job. And any woman in complex could walk in there and 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 do all that sexual inappropriate misconduct harassment shit based off that one clip. Oh, I'm, you could get him fired now. I mean, I nope. don't know. I don't know that that affects complex at all because he's a vendor. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Well, that, no, Nadeska as an employee there, even with a vendor, could certainly say, "I don't want this gentleman here." Listen. Right. Yeah, but I think they saw that clip because that clip was like New Year's, I think. I don't think they saw that clip. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't. I don't. It I don't definitely think they became to relevance once he took yeah. that job. Well, that's the, that's how it goes usually. Like yeah. you don't pay attention to shit until somebody's in a position mm -hmm. for you to talk about them now. Like, oh, look what he said. Like, I, I 100 percent think someone at Complex heard that clip and they played it around the office before he was given that job. I 100 percent think that. I, would I don't be think that they, if they didn't. Nah, I don't think people not. at Complex mix. It's too many people at Complex that sit online all day every day. Like, I don't feel like they're very they're not, in tune with yeah. the generation I don't think, of star. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, I don't think they're checking for, they're not that type. No, but yeah. the fact that he said Nadeska's name, they would have definitely tagged Nadeska Complex, somebody on in, on the internet. Yeah. It's right. Oh, I don't, I don't think that was the first time Nadeska heard that. I that's, would imagine that's, someone would have. That's what I'm, I'm talking about the whole Complex staff, though. Well, if Nadeska heard it, she definitely had a conversation about it before he was hired. That was, I, I wouldn't I, know. I can assure y'all that Nadeska didn't hear that. Because uh -huh. that kind of leads to my next question. If you know if you know Nadeska a little bit, you know how she felt about that comment for real, for real. Which okay, is another so reason me, I wanted y'all to watch today. Okay, so that's all I have to ask. They, how they was the, how it. was the energy today? They addressed it today. I'm the episode came out late. I'm sure they edited some shit out of there because I'm sure they turned up a little bit in the beginning mm. because it still was a little awkward. And the beginning was very awkward. Today looked awkward. So <laughs> that's why I say bad fit because if Star can't be Star. And I don't think Star can be the star that we know him to be, right. or that he has been anyway. Then he shouldn't be in that seat. He ain't the one for that, unless you are looking for clickbait or a nigga that's just gonna kill act. I really hope that that's not the premise of the show. 
That's probably. I what really they hope they want clickbait. I really hope complex is clickbait. They're all click. They're clickbait. Yes. Right. I hope the premise is not just at getting shitted on, and that wasn't the case today. So, who am I to tell did anybody they, uh, what to do with their? Did brand? they mention who else was on that list before Star? <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure. Maybe y'all knew. I know the streets had their own list. <laughs> I saw the streets list, but I wasn't sure if there was actual information that you knew. No, no, was on no, that no. List. We kind of spoke about it here one day off off camera, though. Yeah. And I, I Star was definitely somebody I thought. Uh, Fat Joe was somebody I thought. Lord Jamal was somebody I thought. Mm-hmm. A lot of people said Lord Jamal. Um, I said somebody like Ghostface, I think, would be dope for that. Um, I just don't know how much these people keep up with current hip-hop, because you do have to talk about current hip-hop. But I think I think that's what academics is there for for the current, mm-hmm. and I think and then they're the kind. Yeah. I think yeah. the, the show will be good depending on what you watch the show for. I think that that's what it is. If you watched it just to to hear some jokes or see two niggas go at each other, then yeah, you might you might really enjoy this. If you're looking for for a deeper dive, at least currently, you're not getting that. The show yesterday, you know. The Drake topic came up. They attacked each other. The Frito topic came up. Rest in peace to Frito Santana, by the way. That topic came up. Mm-hmm. Uh, they attacked each other. The Triple X topic came up, and they attacked each other. I, I Not one time did they talk about any of the topics. Wow. <laughs> I saw a, star, a picture of Star turned around <laughs> yeah, during yeah, yeah. The, the XXX whatever uh, conversation. Fantastic. They weren't even looking at him. <laughs> I mean, I don't care where he looks, but at no point did they even discuss the topics. That's all. So they, I, I'm sure that I'm sure that they'll do some watching back and figuring it out and and getting it together. Yeah, you got to give it time to grow. At least I'm sure. I mean, I think I liked your everyday struggle from the rip, but I'm sure going back there was a growth period. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna need that. They got to build some type of chemistry and and start to act like they like each other, or at least <laughs> hide the fact that they don't like each other a little better. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, but it's hard to do that with somebody like Star. Because Star is going to say shit that's like, like, wait, hold up. <laughs> I mean, he's just going to come at you and say cr- some crazy shit that's going to, I mean, anybody would react to that, I would think. You know what I mean? Academics handles it pretty well, though. I think Act needs his own show, and I think Star needs his own show. I mean, yeah. I don't know how many people would watch an academic show by himself, but. Well, it has to be catered around him and his yeah. Twitch shit with all these little Fuckity fuck niggas that he likes. It has to be catered around the shit that he enjoys. Then the audience will be his audience. Right. We're going to see how this one goes, but it'll be fun to watch. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to definitely check out the latest episode, though. Yeah, yeah, you should. You should. But shit, that begs the question. I wanted to ask this before we got off of that whole uh, that uh, star in the desk clip, though. <laughs> at what point? At what point do you stuff your beliefs away? For the job and the check. <laughs> Everybody has a price. Man. Yeah, Which price, is why yeah. I'm asking, at what point do you shove your beliefs away and your morals and your ethics? You start looking at them bills on the, on the kitchen counter. <laughs> yeah. You start doing the math. Depends on which moral we're talking about. <clears throat> Ain't nobody trying to be homeless. That's a fact. That's a fact. And it depends on which moral, you know? It could, it could... Morals ain't going to have me homeless. But if, if Star tuned down, is he still Star? So I don't think he can ever... Well, he has. He still has his own platform, right? He still has his show. He that is he still well, allowed to? How does that go? Is he still allowed to do his? Well, I would assume because you're yeah, still sure. allowed to do your own thing. So, Rory, yeah. what's that? What's on Star's deal? Uh, I'll talk to Brian about it. All right, <laughs> let, let us know, I'll man. I'll, I'll come back next week. <laughs> keep, keep us but no, nah, Nadeska, I'd imagine you look. You have to look at your boss a little strange if he's comfortable letting someone say something like that and come sit next to me the next day. Mm, well, yeah. this, this is what I'm saying. I think that that was a talk before. Yeah, that's he was hired. I think they had that. Discussion. That's what I'm saying. I 100 percent believe they had that conversation about that clip before he was given that job. Okay, like uh, they they would have to protect, and in in this climate, they would have to protect Nadeska in that way. Like, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Let them two have a conversation. But what if they did? What if they didn't? I, <laughs> then shit is gonna hit the fan eventually. All right. So are you guys? Are you guys? Are you guys giving it a time frame like Charlemagne gave us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'll give him three months. I gotta see. I gotta I'm, I'm gonna I gotta go a little less than three. Well, shit. Star said he 
two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. Listen, it could, out of his mouth. I'm not believing nothing that comes out of Star's mouth because it's his words and his actions are not matching. Well, he said he might not make it past two weeks. I'm just I'm, telling well, you. Well, not said. his words and his actions. What I'm saying is what he's what someone says on the screen. I'm not taking as the gospel, yeah, especially sure. a genius like him who I believe can turn it on and just. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say, Roy. You said three months. Yeah. That's just a guess. It's out of nowhere. I'll say two months. I do want to see how it shapes up the next two weeks, though. That might change my prediction. Yeah, but, yeah, but off rip, um, three months. I I'll think it could it. be as short as one month. If it's trash, they're probably gonna pull it. I want. I would like. I would like them to get it together. Star has always supported me in in my in my career, like the entire way. Uh, everywhere that he was, every radio station, whether big or small, like he he was rocking. So I do hope that they get it together, uh, and we'll see, we'll see. I, I won't, I won't, I can't talk about how to get it together because <laughs> I'm sure some of them is listening to this podcast, and that's a check. So I'm not doing that, <laughs> but I'm sure they will get it together. 